What is shaping? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about shaping, which is one of the training techniques that we will be using in our obedience classes. So shaping is a form of training in which we allow the dog to explore its options and figure out what it is that we want from them. And they figure it out on their own. And the best way I like to explain shaping is with a game. Have you ever played the game hot and cold when you were a kid? If so, this will be a fun little refresher. If not, get ready, because we are about to play. Cold. 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 Super cold. Ice cold. Warm. Warmer. Warmer. Cold. Cold. Super hot. Boiling, you're on fire! In the game Hot and Cold, the objective is to find the thing that your friend has hidden, to find the hidden object. In this case, it was this you win token. So anytime that we get closer to the token, we hear warmer, warmer. Anytime we're getting farther away from it, we hear colder, colder. And we continue like that until we're able to figure out on our own where this is. And it's the same thing with shaping. We come up with an objective for our dog. It could be anything. And anytime your dog moves towards that objective, even the smallest little step, you reward them for that. And you continue to do so until they figure out on their own what it is you want them to do. Shaping is really good because it pushes your dog to think of other options. It pushes them to try new things. It really increases their intelligence, they learn new cognitive skills, things physically that they didn't know they could do. Shaping is really good for dogs that are timid or nervous um, because it encourages them to try new things and it rewards them for that and so it increases their confidence level and they feel that it increases their self-esteem and they're more likely to you know try new things and be less nervous around foreign objects. All right, enough talk. Let's actually put this into practice. I'm going to bring out my puppy, Barney. He is a golden doodle, and I haven't done much shaping work with him, so you'll really see what it looks like from the beginning and as he progresses throughout the training session. So let's go. Here is Barney. My shaping objective today, I decided, is I want two paws on the box. And in the beginning, he is just kind of confused, walking around this box, not paying it any attention. So I decide to get closer to him and put some treats on the box so that he's not afraid or nervous to interact with it. Barney does tend to get nervous around new experiences and he won't engage with things that he's not familiar with. So I wanted him to be comfortable with the box being there. He's a little confused because before lying down means he would get a treat, but not right now. He's thinking about what is going to get him that treat. I'm giving him some guidance. Yes! At this point, he hasn't yet associated his feet on the box being the thing that's making him treats. I lured him into it, um, but it's a good first step. I'm going to point to it again, and yes! 
When you're doing shaping in the very beginning, especially if you've never done it before, you definitely need to be patient. But the more you do it, the faster they'll pick up and try new things to arrive at what it is you want them to do. Yes! It's very normal for the dog to make a few steps forward and then a couple steps back. Just keep at it and they will surely get to the objective. This is the last time that I'm going to get him to do it by luring. Yes! Make sure you're really reading your dog's body language because if it is completely unclear what they're supposed to do, then they're just going to get frustrated and confused. So make sure you give them some guidance. Yes! So as you can see, Barney tends to default to lying down. It's very normal for a dog to have a default position. It's just what we had practiced more and what he's most comfortable doing. But it can be fixed. Now that I am standing up, I'm not luring him anymore. So even the smallest gaze, yes, will give him a treat. As I move around the box, I can tell that Barney is beginning to understand that if I look at the box, I'll get a treat. Yes! You need to be very accurate in your timing. Anytime they look at the box, yes! Or they make a step closer to your objective, you need to mark it right in that moment, not a second after. Yes! So a couple more times, he'll just look at the box and look at me expecting a treat. I'm kind of taking it for now, but eventually I'm going to raise the stakes and not just take him looking at the box. Just like in our hot and cold example, when your dog finally reaches the objective, make sure you give them a big celebration with multiple feedings of treats. So right now I'm going to raise my expectations. He is going to look at the box and expect a treat. I'm not going to give him one. Let's see how he acts. No way! Yes! Good boy! That was huge because I did not lure him. I didn't tap on the box or anything. He did that on his own. And now we're back to laying down. Like I said, don't be afraid to go back to square one. It'll happen multiple times in your puppy's development that you need to retrain the basics. Shaping is a really fun training technique because you can create any number of objectives. The more your dog does shaping, the faster they are at learning. The more they are not afraid to, you know, try different positions or different things with the object that you put in front of them. And so it really increases their overall intelligence level and their overall trainability. So if you do this shaping technique with puppies anywhere between like four to six months, then all the training that you do thereafter will be a lot easier because your dog has already expanded what possibilities are. They're aware of their bodies um, and what they can do and can't do physically. Um, and they're always going to be exploring options to come up with solutions. And I just find it fascinating. All right, you guys, that is all for today. I hope you learned a lot and that you had fun. I definitely did. If you have any questions about shaping, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I wish you and your dog all the best in training and in your journey together. I'll see you guys next time.